have here is a diagram of a substation of the future, if you will, um, that's implemented such that any communicate any single fault on this in this uh, uh, substation architecture network design uh, won't cause any lost packets. So basically, it's, it, it implements something called seamless or bumpless redundancy through the HSR PRP uh, box here and goes into different network types. Over here we've got a PRP uh, network implementation and what that means is the, there's two separate networks and the packets are duplicated here on the 909R and they go through both uh, networks and arrive here at the another 909R which has singly attached devices to it, um, non-PRP IRADs um, or cameras or, or whatever it, it, you need. And the really cool thing about this is we can demonstrate that it's actually working by unplugging one of these links. We've got a camera here that you can see the see the feed here. And if I unplug this link, nothing happens. Right, the camera is still working. If I unplug this link, all of a sudden the camera stops working. Right? So if I plug it back in, it'll take a little bit while a little while to recover. Uh, then the camera will start working again. So again, that demonstrates how um, PRP and HSR work together to uh, avoid packet loss on a single fault in a substation. So here we have a representation of a digital substation. It features the Rugged Commerce 1500 field grade switch that features the application engine. And on the application engine, we have installed our SNOP cybersecurity monitoring system. This is a security system that's specifically designed for OT networks, for field deployments. And with the RX 1500, we have our network intrusion detection system. It sits on the application engine. It monitors all the traffic that goes through the RX 1500, and it detects anomalies. So Crossbow provides uh, secure role-based access to in integrated electronic devices. Uh, it uses a client-server architecture and provides a protocol break between the end user and the devices that the user is connecting to. Crossbow stores all the passwords for all the devices within its own database securely. And when the user connects to the device, uh, Crossbow authenticates on the user's behalf. So the user doesn't ever see the password or know anything about the topology or the configuration of the network. Cloud Connect is our Internet of Things gateway to connect end devices up to a cloud uh, service and application. We're using the RX 1400, uh, which is our uh, layer two, layer three router. Uh, it contains a um, integrated wireless LAN access, copper, fiber, as well as LTE connectivity. So we've really got a lot of connection options to go to both the devices as well as up to the cloud. We're running the Cloud Connect software in a virtual machine inside the RX 1400. And it's taking uh, PLC data right now here via Modbus TCP, um, converting it within the Cloud Connect application and using MQTT protocol to transmit it up to MindSphere. And you can see the, the data has arrived up in the, uh, the MindSphere portal here. What we have here is our flagship product, SCADA Guardian, running on top of the APE module. And as you can see, for those of you that are already familiar with our platform, we have the exact same functionality as if we were to use SCADA Guardian in a VM or as a hardware platform. You can see right here, I can get visibility not only into my network devices, but also the processes themselves. Looking at things like temperature, rotational speed, voltage. Performing statistical baselining of this and then providing anomaly-based intrusion detection when we detect something is amiss with the network. The key value proposition here for the end customer, of course, is again, they can leverage their existing RuggedCom hardware with the new APE module in order to get that additional cybersecurity benefit. Uh, SAS is a spectrum access service that will grant and relinquish uh, grants for the spectrum being used. Now the SAS service is in the cloud, you can think of it. Um, our devices are still private and we will communicate on the LAN to a, uh, uh, a gateway, a secure gateway or firewall and communicate to the SAS and say that for this deployment we want to use spectrum, this is where we're going to be um, where our base stations are, where our CPEs are, and the SAS provider will now look, make sure nobody else is using that spectrum, make sure it's clean, and give us a grant.
Siemens, ingenuity for life.